subscribe now. EU debates. First, and this is the suspense, and this is the uh, envelope, and I always feel a little bit sorry for there's only one winner, but as the Commissioner said, everybody is a winner, so don't take it personal. And the winner is uh, of the conservation on land category, the adaptation of Eleonora's falcon to climate change from Greece. I think we have a representative. We certainly have on uh, the screen here, um, Tassos Demalexis, but I hope we also have somebody from the audience that might want to join that's involved in the project. So if we do, please come to the stage. Well, I do have here a certificate, so yes. it might be nice to show yeah. it. <laughs> and Ariel Brunner, our friend from BirdLife in Europe, um, is joining us for the stage. So please, um, Ariel, we will give you a, a... You will get a certificate from Florica um, for the project. And the commissioner, please, um, if you can take center stage, we will also a, have the Natural 2000 Award. We'll get this right, we will. He's seen as well. He has to be seen yes. as well. No, yeah, I mean... He's seen as well. Well, the, the people actually doing the walk should be seen. I'm, I'm just standing in for them because I happen to be in town. I haven't really done anything. So, uh, no, look, look over there. Very good. Okay. So, can I ask Florica, before um, uh, maybe having a word with the winner, this is not an easy decision because this is an extremely competitive a, a award for uh, conservation of land. What made this project stand out from the crowd? Indeed, I, I use a microphone here, and indeed, as you said, this is one traditionally one of the categories where we get the most of the applicants. And so you can be sure um, this project was one of the finest of the finest. But as I said, everybody has fantastic programs. Um, I think when you saw the film in the very beginning, you might have remembered that uh, Eleonora's falcon is about the falcons being very much vulnerable to climate change. And that's one of the reasons. And um, what um, the organization, what Eleonora's uh, falcon, the project stands for is they reacted on three fronts. One is they increased the breeding space or the breeding in general by having uh, put up a lot of artificial nests. That's quite important so that the falcon would come back. At the same time, then, they started with um, eradication of the rat uh, program. This sounds very uh, brutal, but it is in order to ensure that there's a lower mortality rate for the falcon. And then uh, lastly, of course, uh, it was also about having sufficient food for the falcons that were breeding there. So that was, I think, the three main features, and there are, of course, many, many other things behind. And I would say there's also another benefit. Of course, the prime one is uh, the falcons, um, but the other one is the local communities. I think that's also a, a big part of the beneficiaries. So it's species, because the falcon is a species under the, I'm protected under Natura, uh, and therefore it all goes together. Thank you, Florica, for that. I hope I said it right. Good explanation. <laughs> And 80% of these birds, I think, nest in Greece. So what they did was very significant in European terms. And it's a partnership, if I understand, between the University of Patras, Hellenic Ornithological Society, hence the BirdLife Partner in Greece, and Nature Conservation Consultants. So maybe just one or two questions to you, Tassos. Um, firstly, what does it mean for you to win this award? Thank you. It is uh, something very important. We have been working uh, for this uh, species for the last uh, 20, 25 years. Uh, I'm representing here a lot of people, uh, uh, tens of people that have been working for Eleonora's Falcon since the uh, 2000 and after. So it is very important uh, that this work has been uh, recognized. Thank you. And 
for the benefit of everybody who might want to learn from your experience, what do you see as two essential elements of success for your work? I think it is very simple. The first one is uh, to have uh, good knowledge for the species and its requirements. And the second is uh, hard work. Hard work, uh, when I say hard work, I mean hard work, because we have been uh, doing this uh, rat eradication campaign uh, in uh, islets of uh, 600 hectares using a, a very selective method not to harm any other species. So uh, I think uh, after so much hard work, it is very rewarding, the results, not only for the species, but also for the local uh, communities that they loved what we have done. So it's a win-win situation. Thanks. Congratulations again. A round of applause again for this project. Could, could I ask the commissioner and the partner, including yourself, uh, Ariel, and the director general, just for a quick photo so that we have as a record, as a memoir of this uh, award? Yeah. Please, yes, if possible. Great. Thank you very much.